anything with me I require? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is Hawkeye again, and we are starting another competition. We're gearing up. I'm trying to get things set up to catch the peacock bass. I'm going to try a little bit of everything here and see. We are def we're going for the biggest and the most again. With these guys getting the most shouldn't be a problem, we hope. <laughs> in theory, right? Yeah, in theory. Now I'm going to bring a little bit bigger hooks this time. Four out is the biggest I have. Okay. I think I will be doing a combination of float fishing and lure fishing. Yeah. Same here. Alright. Well, do you want to um, do... I'm headed towards the Everglades now. Okay, that's what I'm going to be doing too. Partly sunny. I think it's usually partly sunny, isn't it? Most of the time. Yeah, partly sunny and sunny. Alrighty, well I am in Florida and basically what it comes down to is whenever you are ready, I am ready. I am ready. It looks like the peaks are... Yours is partly sunny too. Around 7 and 5-ish. Yep. Yeah, okay. Let me get the I'm timer. Setting up my timer. Alright, you want me to count down here? Yep. All right, we've got three, two, one, start. All right, timer is going. Let us see what we see. All right, I'm going to head off to the middle peg to start off with. Same place I'm starting. It's 5 a.m. I'm going to try a little few casts here to start off with, and if done to do too good I'm gonna go closer to the peak yep the same exact thing I am doing uh, I think I'm gonna start off with my red and white spoon one third ounce now I don't think it really matters so much what type of rod and reel here do you think other than casting distance Yeah. There we go. Might do a stop and go. It seems like that works still works pretty well. Yeah, I put a post on Steam about it and people's a lot of you know, a lot of people are saying, yeah, there's issues with the with the lift and drop and so on and so forth and saying this is a problem. And then we've got those people that are going, we'll just fish a different way. And it's not the point. Yes, we can fish a different way and catch fish. The point is, is that when one of the main dynamics of lure fishing is broken, something's wrong. Yeah. Not, not that, that I can't catch fish. It's that something is broken. And I guess... People think it's about catching the fish. It's not about catching the fish. It's a, uh, about consistency in the game. Well, I got a couple of barrages about my comp, you know, because I had basically stated that I agreed with what you had said, and now somebody said something to the effect of, well, you know, you say the, use the word realistic, and yet you're depended upon some magic three dots or something like that and I'm like you jackass <laughs> well, I, I, saw, I saw what he said and I also saw the reply which is that since we don't have the physical means to monitor the line that the three dots stands in for that and that's exactly what I said in my post that it's like having a speedometer or a temperature gauge yeah. and if, if I drive 20 miles a day for two years I'm going to have a pretty good idea of how fast I'm going if my speedometer stops working. But a new driver isn't going to have the slightest idea. And that's the whole point is how how is the new fisherman supposed to know that what he's doing is the right technique if there's no way for him to measure? Exactly. Because, I mean, without until they come up with... Ooh, oh, God. Dang it, gone. Whatever that was, hit it 
hit it hard and broke my line. <laughs> Not yeah, good. Remember to watch your drag settings. They've changed that here since the update too. Yeah, apparently. Apparently. Let's see. Oh god, I hope I have enough of those spoons. <laughs> I had two of them and I just lost one. Well, I didn't think I had it up that high. Uh, that was either probably that was probably either a peacock or a, a bass. Yeah. Largemouth, I mean. Okay, so they're they're biting. <laughs> that I can tell you. I have a f I have confirmed that they are biting. <laughs> it was like right at that moment I got a good three dot lift and drop. I think what one or two two or three dot. And that's when it hit, and it hit hard. Well, and that, you know, what one of the people who responded said is that the the solid three drops, three dots, you know, is a sign that we're presenting something that's desirable to the fish, and that running a, a proper three dots is how they can catch fish, and now that they get three dots, they can't catch fish. But speaking of fish... Okay. So here. Do we? I'm going to I'm going to up my my line a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever keep I just got hit again and it instantly snapped my line. So something bigs there. I only had I was only using 8 pound test, so maybe I need to call well, it. pound butterfly peacock bass. All right. Yes, I know I don't have assembled rods. I'm using my jig wind rod with 7.7 .7 pound braid on it. I believe is what I've got up on it. Well, I am going to have to buy another tiger spoon. I hope they have yeah. them here. <laughs> and I'm using my uh, half ounce 2 odd red and white spoon. Can't buy one. I guess I'm gonna have to use the red or a bigger. I use this one. Had a tap. And I am back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Working on a weekend whilst it's working from home is a good idea in a, in a, when you're working during the week, but during the weekends. It's a really bad idea, I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, sit down. I don't know, I'll play some games with Mr. Kachi and Mr. Uh, Hawkeye and uh, enjoy the afternoon and then bing, 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 you got a phone call. Fun times. Yeah, I don't like to work from home. <laughs> Actually, I don't mind working from home because it means I don't have to go into the freaking office on the weekend. Mm, true. What time are you fishing at right now? Um, I started right at when the sun came up and just been fishing. There we um, go. 544 is what I've got. There's a 3.9 pound peacock. So that's... Oh, yeah. What's the line length I should go for? 3.6. Um, yep, I would, I would set my depth. At 50, I try 60, but oh, no, sorry, just, oh, I'm just looking yep. at the line length at the moment. Yep. Um, well, basically, you always want to fill your you always want to fill your reel up with as, as much line as you can. Oh yeah. I caught him off the yep. I caught him off the rainbow spinner, do Yeah. One half ounce one. Yep. Now I'm getting a good. I was getting a good lift and drop off of that too. Joe, her pencil sharpener. <laughs> She's uh, coloring. It's good therapy. 
for your hands. Do you have all the other tackle on there? No, I got no tackle assigned. Yeah, I don't think I think you have to get a certain order, yeah. don't you? Yeah, you gotta have rod right, reel in line before you can put a hook on. Yeah, I've got a rod right, and I've got a I got a reel. You have your line on. And I have my line on. Well. Hmm. Are you sure you're on a float fishing rod and not a spinning rod? Uh, lure rod. Uh, I might have a lure rod on me. You gotta be using a telescopic rod or a match rod. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what the is. Thank you. Yeah. I had a value spin rod on. Yep. <laughs> That'll do it. How many have you caught so far, Dula? Three? Four? Three or four. Shiner, shrimp. Gonna try the shiners a little longer and find us any peacock. Gonna try the shrimp. I am gonna try one thing. I might advance time a little bit. If this is. If this really doesn't work, then I know they've. Mess things up seriously bad. Yeah. Well, I came to the middle because it's the cock bass peg. If you go on either of the other two pegs, well, especially the peg with the overturned boat, you're likely to pick up largemouth fishing with the spoons. Yeah. If you go down to the peg on the opposite end, you get peacock and you get apps, but you don't seem to see a whole lot of action in comparison to the center peg. So oh, no, no, you're right. It seems like on the left side is the most. It's a little bit, yep. a little bit more than the right. I used to catch the largemouth more on the right side, unless yep. I went past the weeds. Yep. Check our time here. Here we go. Yep. Try switching it over to two o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As soon as I did that, I finally got a bite off the spinner bait, and that's what I always used to use at two o'clock. Yeah, that's that's when I used to float fishing, but I wanted to, you know, see what they were doing in the morning, because it, it used to be real consistent. I'd come down here first thing in the morning, as long as we we had a partly cloudy and plant the heck out of them. So. Well, I'm not having much luck in the morning. I got one. <laughs> yeah. So. It used to be with these guys, there were times I would drop it off the side of the thing, drag it around the dock, and pick them up. <laughs> I mean, that's how easy it used to be to get them. All I do know is I ended up grinding a peacock for quite a long time. Yeah. And if they're not biting nearly as much, I can't imagine... No, nope, they're still biting. I can't imagine for new players how hard that's got to be. 3.7. 3.894. Finally catching these buggers. No. Joe was getting another pencil. No, I wasn't eating Twinkies again. <laughs> I'm 
Oh, there's another one. A little fella, three pounder. For some reason, I always had look good luck with catching them with this half ounce rainbow. Yeah, yeah, the half ounce rainbow is good. The red and white spoon is good. The gold spoon is good. Um, had a luck, a lot of luck with them with uh, large minnows. A lot of luck with them with shrimp. A lot of luck. Uh, well, not as much, but a decent amount of luck with the shiners. Yeah, I got some. Sh I just bought a whole bunch of shrimp. Okay, what's the height you were saying before, Mr. Uh, Kachi? What's the what? What was the height you said I should set my reel to? Um, two point something. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to flow fishing. Now I'm not catching as nearly as much as I used to do. Yeah, there, there's no doubt. Fish are just not as, as as active as they were. We're not catching as much as we used to. And it's not not about honey hole either, you know, because I mean it was it was several updates back where we stopped having honey hole action, you know, all the time. It's like fishing a region as opposed to in specific spot. And just overall, it's it seems the like I say it just I I don't want to make accusations. I just want to put forward some food for thought. If the gear is more expensive. And we're not catching as many fish. Yeah. Then the drive is there for people to spend money for credits. It's like they toned it down just to get people playing, and then they, okay, now that you're playing, <laughs> we're gonna wallop uh, you. Our least sunny, 75 degrees, low barometer, two o'clock in the afternoon. They should be just destroying this. I know. Now That's what I'm, I'm fishing with. What's your lead set at, Dill? Twenty inches. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure I. <laughs> I was doing. So, so, the the classic stuff is just not as productive as it was. I mean, I've got another one on, but again, it's it's one of the smaller ones. I'm fishing the spot that used to be the area to fish for the larger fish. You know. Yeah. Using the bait and methodology that used to be for the larger fish, and they're all coming out about the same. I'm just now got a bite. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Yep, 3.5 pounds. 3.2. Try a little experimentation. I used to catch a lot right in this little hen den and the lilies. fish all the in cuts on the lily pads directly across from the dock and pretty much as soon as you stop bites in one in cut pick another in cut keep working them and I've got two fish fishing in that area That's incredible. One on group and one on large minnows. Now, I don't at all mind this kind of change if you've got the common decency as a developer to go, we have decided to scale back catches. Right. To make it more challenging and a little harder to earn earn credits and make the game a little more realistic and blah blah blah. Hey, you know what? I would have them. I would say, all right. Not necessarily a decision that I would agree is the right decision, but thank you for your honesty and thank you for trying to make the game more realistic. Right, right. I think they were just pushing hard and pushing fast to get this update out in time for their anniversary, and it was not beta tested enough, and they didn't realize the repercussions of their changes. Just not sure if they're listening to us. Now, 
I don't tend to see him responding on any of the threads anymore, except for the, the praise threads. <laughs> yeah, of course. The fanboy threads? He, yeah, if you get a fanboy butt kissed and they seem to say, oh, thank you, but... Unbelievable. I guess all we can do is exercise the prerogative of being an old man and complain a lot. <laughs> what the hell is this? Yeah, when we were kids, they used to, you know. <laughs> when we were kids, we used to be able to throw rocks and sticks out there and they would bite. Now, <laughs> now these millennials, they think they're special. <laughs> exactly. Now you gotta throw pieces of gold out there. <laughs> Literally. Little snowflake fishes. <laughs> Uh, I was wondering what the lag was there. It was the sun was moving. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Well, <laughs> he was just a feisty one. Yeah, you get that every now and then. <laughs> I think uh, I think very soon I'm gonna move off the middle peg. Try the far end peg just because if it's being this different, I might as well try something different. Oh yeah. How much time do we have? Uh just enough time to check. It is Ooh, seven minutes. The first one of first one I've called the red and white. Three point two. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna move over to that peg too. Yep. But every every lake I have fished, I have seen a distinct reduction in catches. And it's just that simple. It's not it's not my imagination. It's the simple truth. You are definitely correct there. Yeah, I could... I will probably stand a large chance of getting largemouth here, but... Usually about every other one's a peacock, too, so... <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I'm getting lift and drop here, though. That could be a good thing. Yep. yep. I just well, got a bite. If the absolutely still, you'll get lift and drop. But if there's any amount of current whatsoever in the water, you will not get your lift and drop. Ah, large mouth. I ain't gonna count. Unless you, unless you crank your reel speed up. I got a large mouth. <laughs> Normally that's a good thing, but not this time. If I get another regular largemouth, or I might switch over to that spinner bait because it seems like they go for that less than the peacocks do. Yeah. I think this is a peacock though. There we go. Always little, 2.8. <laughs> little fella. I don't know uh, that you know there's those two big patches of lily pads the one on the right if you fish to the left I get peacocks a lot right there for some reason now I'll get the largemouth too but I'll get more peacocks off of that and now if I get more peacocks if I fish off the lily pads to the left yeah. on the left side of the dock But that left patch on the right side, that's where the large mouths are. So you're down to like where the upside down boat is? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm down on the opposite end. Oh, I thought you were here. See if I can't get some over here. It seems like right here. I'll get the peacocks. See if I can get another one. Well, I got a snag. <laughs> I wonder if the bowfin fishing's changed too. I haven't tried them in a long time. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, usually uh, towards the right side and then the left side of towards the right side was where I'd usually pick up the peacocks, pick up the bass towards the right side on the right side. Ooh. That's where I'd pick up the the large mouth. And then over on the, welcome back. And then over on the uh, left side where the Ooh. upside down boat is is where I pick up all the large mouth. A three point nine three four pound peacock. I think that's my biggest so far. Yeah. Still nothing over four though. I used to catch them occasionally quite often over four though. This is kind yeah. of Yep, I think it's about over. I think you got me on this one, Dula. I don't know. Oop, I got a bite. Let's see what it is. I think it's a peacock, but I can't tell yet. Yeah, it's a peacock. Once you see that green. <laughs> 3.1. Yeah, I'm catching them pretty good over here. Not, I mean, over in the middle peg, I wasn't. Yeah. Should have moved over here earlier. <laughs> oh well. Oh, my phone went dark. I can't tell what the time is. Two points. I found a large one. Uh, snag. <laughs> this will probably be the last one, I have a feeling. Last cast. Uh, we're down to 1 minute 20 seconds. Oh, I may have another cast in me then. I think I'm going to cast to the right this time. Where the gar used to be. Notice I said used to be. <laughs> well, let's see if I can get this guy in. In time, I got something decent here. I don't know what. He keeps trying to slack me out, but he's got some fights. Sounds like a peacock. They move all over the place. Ooh, there we go. Yep, it's a peacock. I found butterfly peacock. Of course, I'm fishing on my jig, jig winner, and they can fight pretty good. And then we're down to 25 seconds. 3.4 pound. I don't think there's enough time to really do much of a cast, but I'll try. I did be I did better in the last five minutes than I did the whole 40 before. Yeah. <laughs> Just started off here. Oh well. That's it. There we go. Reel her in. Yeah, well, I stopped at 25 seconds. I knew it wasn't going to be enough time to do anything, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see what we did. Let's see what we did, because I really have no idea. <laughs> uh, oh wow, I caught more than I thought. Let's see. Well, one of them was a bass, but I caught 10. Well, so I caught a total of 11 fish. One was a gar, one was a largemouth, so nine peacocks. Are you kidding me? 
What's your heaviest? And my heaviest peacock is 3.956. 3.936, you got me on the heavy. Yeah. And I took him on the half ounce two out red and white spoon. I got my heaviest on the spinner bait. Yep. Yep. But nice Florida Gar, 7.25 pounds and uh, uh, 2.5 pound large mouth. Yeah, mine's a little sm large mouth, about 3.1, not big. Yeah. But uh, I only caught one, one fish off the shrimps. That's it. Most is off the red and red and white, and over at the um, that peg I was at. I don't know. I should have started off there. I guess both of us should have. We just shouldn't have gone to the middle peg. <laughs> I used to be the main one. <laughs> oh well. Toss line in for catfish, just cause. Just cause. Just cause. I'd like to pay for my trip if nothing else. Oh yeah. Because I lost lost money on my first trip on a first contest tonight. Yeah, I'm already set up. And I haven't made enough to pay for my uh, my trip here, so.